In this video, I want to look at Java attributes and how they regard to a class. So here I have a class and typically I'm going to put all my attributes up at the top. Now an attribute is a variable that can be used anywhere within the class. There's a few things that we need to know about it, however. So I'm going to just say, for example, int x. Now you're going to notice that I don't define a value or anything like that. And I should have access to X. Well, there's a few things you have to know about how Java works. So if I come into my main function and I say something like X equals five, I'm going to get an error. In fact, if you look at it, it underlines it, the reason why is very simple. I'm in a static function. X is not static. Static means I don't have to be instantiated. I don't have to create an object. So X is a class attribute. That means it has to be part of an object. So if I want to use X inside of a static function, I need to specify that it is static, like such. Now my error goes away. However, most of the time this isn't going to be the case. I'm going to want to use it as an object. In order to do that, I'll need to say something like, Objects 01 equals new objects. Then I can say 01.x equals 5. And that's going to work just fine for me. Because it is a class attribute and each object gets its own copy, if I have a second object, 02, for example, my two values are completely independent, even though they have the same attribute. And this is pretty typical with any type of object-oriented language. I can have any type of attribute that I want as part of my class. So, for example, I could have integers and floats and strings, or I can have more complex data types or even other objects that I've created. So being able to create a class and create those attributes is very beneficial. A bigger question is who has access to that information? Now I'm using the default access modifier for my variable. You might say, well, what is a default access modifier? The default access modifier, which is what you get if you do not specify a modifier, allows any class within the package to have access to this variable. So let's look at some other access modifiers. So for example, I can specify private. And private is a very common one. It means only the declared class has access to this variable. This is very big in encapsulation because it makes sure that no other class has direct access to it. They all will have to go through some sort of method. Protected is a very similar access modifier. The biggest difference is that a subclass, that is a class that's derived from this class, will be able to access this variable. If it's private subclasses, which are derived from the class, doesn't get access to it. And even they have to go through a method to access this variable. Of course, public is something we've seen mainly because of the public static void main function we've been using. And a public access modifier means that anyone, any class, anywhere can have direct access to this property if they know about it. So just a couple of quick things to think about when you're building your classes. Your classes can have tons and tons of properties and that's fine. But how you want to provide access to them and what that means to your classes is very important. So think about that. And if you need to look at how do I control access, you might want to look at either protected or private and then 
create methods to allow access to it.